as of today, it makes, what, probably way more than a year since I uploaded my last video on how to get the expansion packs for free. And a lot of you guys have been asking me, how do you get the packs for free? Because, you know, as you guys know, Origin was on Mac and then they moved all the way over to EA. There is a way to get the packs back for no money. Sit back, watch this tutorial, okay? Because everything will be completely free. Just watch follow every single step I'm telling you it's easier than last year okay that's the good thing about time you guys want to know how to get these packs for free I'm here to show you so sit back relax subscribe and keep watching all right so y'all have been asking left and right for probably over a year now um, of an updated tutorial on how to get these packs and I didn't you know what it is my fault Okay, it is on me. I have been so busy and, you know, not gonna lie, I kind of forgot. So, we're gonna get right into this tutorial, on how to, this updated 2024 tutorial on how to get the packs for free. Because y'all need them. I know. And you know what? If y'all get me banned on here, it's y'all next. That's exactly why I've been hesitant. Anyway, I'm gonna link everything that you need in the description because last year's tutorial was like, you have to go make an account and do all this. No. Everything will just be linked. All these links, this is all you need not that serious you know what I mean all you need to go all you need to do is go to this link this will be linked in my description and you're gonna need the EA DLC unlocker you're going to need this for this is for Mac users and EA users so all the steps that you see here are for both devices so you're just gonna click here your unlockers you can click any one of these only from the EA DLC unlocker version 2 then what I usually do is I click go file and then I click this and then I'll press download since I already have it downloaded, I'm not going to download it again. So what it will do is it'll show up here, or if you're on Mac, it'll show up probably at like the bottom of your screen. Then on Windows, you're going to go to your downloads folder. And you're going to open a second one too, because you need two folders for these. So here's what I do. Since I already have it, I'll just search it up for myself. So what y'all are seeing here is two tabs being open where I found the EA DLC unlocker. And you see how it has like that little like folder looking thing. This is the second step. So you're going to minus all these tabs and you're going to go to WinRAR, download latest version. And obviously, if you are on Mac or Windows, it, it varies for you. So this is the Windows version. And I'm going to link both the Windows and the EA, Windows and Mac for you. So you have to download the WinRAR thing to be able to extract that file since I already have it I don't even know why I downloaded it again but all you're gonna do is right click click on it first right click and then WinRAR extract files and then you press OK and then it'll extract into a folder that looks just like this then you click into that folder right 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 right, right. easy easy right y'all are following y'all are following this is so simple you click setup right now my thing says e DLC unlocker is installed for y'all who don't have it yet it will say DLC unlocker not installed. So then you will press one in your keypad. This is the same thing for Mac. Mac users, you will press something that says, I think like setup.bat, setup, setup, it's the same thing. You press in one and then you press enter. Then it'll ask, do you want to make sure it's your device? That's for Windows. On EA, it's on EA. On Mac, it's different. You'll have to go to your finder, click finder, then your settings and then go to settings and privacy, and then you would click allow for terminal to allow it to open. It's pretty simple, right? So I'll say it again. So go to your settings, then type in settings and privacy, and then all you have to do is click allow for terminal to open this. Ah, you'll be fine. So your next step is you need to be able to add the games to your game, like all the DLCs. You would press the number two, then enter, and then you would type in 16 for The Sims 4. And then that's it. That's literally it. How easy was that? Look how simple that was. This is for Mac and Windows. Y'all didn't think it was that simple, but it is. So then you press Q to quit. I like to do it because I like to feel cutesy with you about myself. The final step, literally all you need is to then go to my Patreon because Anadius makes it so like thing where if a lot of people are on the same server, you have to, it's like so much, and I hate dealing with all that. As you can see, a lot of people have been asking me, where are the packs? Where are the packs? You need to post them on your Patreon for free, girl. Yes, they'll be posted for free. I'm sorry, y'all. I've been locking them because our girl needs money too, okay? 
And yeah, so what I'm going to do is as of this upload, all of them will be up on my Patreon. So you could just do this. Watch, watch, watch. I'll show you right now. I'll show you right now. I'm going to get a pack that I have not gotten yet. Maybe like bathroom clutter and uh, uh, laundry day stuff. These packs, I don't think I have in my game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press download. Then I'm going to press download anyway. And look how quickly it downloaded. Bathroom clutter, I'm also going to download. Because I don't think I have that. And look how it downloaded for me. Look how simple that was. Now, for your final, final step. Your final, final step. Are you guys following? You can go back if you want to. I'll place ads, but follow. Follow along. I hope you guys are still following along because I feel like this is, like, so simple and, like, anyone could do it. If I could do it, y'all could do it because usually I'm bad at following instructions, but <laughs> anyway, yeah. So, once you do that, you're going to click on whichever pack that you want first. I'm going to do bathroom clutter because I think I already have laundry day stuff in my game. So, I'm just going to click on right-click. Then, I'm going to go to WinRAR, extract files. Then, I'm going to click OK. Then, it should appear as a little folder like this. And, I'm going to do the same thing for the laundry day stuff pack. I think I already have it in my game, but I'll still do it anyway, just for the hell of it. So it's gonna show up as like a folder like these two. Then I'm going to click into the bathroom clutter kit. This is the only thing that you need for it to be installed in your game. Now, in your next, next step, I'm gonna do it again so you guys can see. I'm gonna right click here to then open a brand new tab for my documents folder. I'm gonna click on this PC then I'm, going to, then I'm going to click on my Windows C drive. Then I'm going to go to Program Files, then EA Games. Then I'm going to go to The Sims 4. And then, as you can see, all of my packs are here. And then all I'm going to do simply is click on it and drag. Move to The Sims 4. And then it's going to say, you'll need to provide administration provision. You just say, continue. You are the administrator, girl. If you're not, become the administrator. Next, I'm going to click on my next download that I already thing and then sp13 i think i pretty much already have it but i'll put it in anyway yeah see i already have laundry day stuff installed in my game those are all the packs i'm gonna get for now and then for mac users all you really have to do is go to finder then you're going to type in sims 4 packs have that tab open then again you're going to open to another tab that goes to your downloads folder and follow the same steps it's the same thing, girlies. Okay, it's the same thing. So, on Mac, I'm going to say it again. Go to your Finder, type in The Sims 4 Packs. Then you have to, I think it's like, if you want to have the full thing, the steps are the, still the same in my last tutorial that was on Mac from like a year ago that like blew up. I'll link it right here. It'll be linked right there in my bio too, so you guys can check that out too if you want to because that tutorial is still the same. Besides the whole making the account on Anadius, whatever the hell thing is. You wouldn't have to do that. So, moving along. We're going to click onto the EA app, okay? And everyone, if y'all don't have the EA app, get the EA app. Everyone needs to have it. It may lag a little bit, but it's okay. So this thing right here that says, updated, update the config for the Sims 4. Don't forget to download the DLC files. Of course, we already downloaded it. Y'all already, already one step ahead. So then you're gonna click on the little three lines that says that, and then you're gonna click go offline. Then you can say, yes, I'm sure. Then, all you got to do, you just got to open the game. And then your packs are there. So, we're going to open it. It'll be patient, and it'll be there. I hope. It might lag a little bit because my G-Shade is like, so it needs to get used to my PC, but that's fine. We're going to wait. These packs better be in the game. Let's go. Let's go. See, my hands ain't doing nothing. So, y'all got to know that this is genuine. It works. It's real. We've been through that. It works. Like, I wasn't there for scamming, y'all. So, y'all can't really say that. And look at that. I do it every single time. Every time. And for y'all who are worried about, is this going to give me a virus? No, girl. Two years doing this. Okay? And no fail. So, the bathroom clutter kit is installed. And I think that's the only kit, because like I said, the laundry day kit, I already had installed. And, yeah. So, I don't think with any clutter kits, you get, um, I don't think you get a world installed. But you do get your items for it so what i will do is i'll go into my game and then i will go to like a bathroom and show you guys that everything is there in the game okay y'all the house is really really dirty and i'm gonna have the kid who did all that nastiness throw that away but that's not why we're here we're go i'm gonna go to a bathroom that's in the house th 
Okay, not the bathroom that all the kids are in. I'm going to go upstairs for that one. But, okay. Everyone's using the bathroom. So, I'm just going to have him finish that. And then I need you guys to see that this stuff, it works. So, what I'm going to do is I'll take off my G-Shade for now, which is so sad. So, you guys can see. So, I'm going to filter the items to the packs. And then you guys can see that it's here for bathroom clutter. Bathroom clutter. Bathroom clutter is right there, meaning that bathroom clutter is actually installed in our game. So anything that we do go to will be filtered to the bathroom clutter kit. Which, of course, there isn't much. So, I mean, if y'all wanted bathroom clutter, you, I guess you have it. But there is... The bathroom clutter kit is here. So, again, I, I do it every time. I do it every time. So if you guys enjoyed this video, you know, this tutorial which i hope is going to be the last one um leave a like comment and subscribe um i love you guys so much and i guess blow this one up if this one gets so happens to get taken down for whatever reason um it wasn't me okay youtube it wasn't me but anyways i love you guys so much i will see you in the next video and hopefully it's another tutorial my G my G Shake tutorial is coming out soon, so stay tuned for that. I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next video and bye.